welcome students i am anava rajan i am very happy to pass on i see you once again today we are going to see the class 10 cbse lesson 1 from first flight the topic of a lesson is a letter to god it's written by gl founders now i am going to say the short summary about this lesson lencho as a hero of the story he is having no hope to god he having field at the valley place do you know the valley what does it mean valley valley means the place which having the mountain to mountain and have the low place of that it's have the short hill he having a dwelling place on it he having some field he having some field at the same way uh in his field is sowing the corn plants is expectation he is reaping the more at uh, the harvesting the more corn and this year but his thought it's been like that at the at the day break the he sees to the cloud it's been raining is expecting the good raining because of his harvesting but is the all his expectation had changed into the opposite the rain drops they start to come from the clouds he exclaimed and say and the shark's feelings to his wife we are having the gold and silver coins because he uh, describing the rain drops as a gold coin and a silver coin but all this expectation it's a collapsed within a moment because it's still it's the rain drops changed into the hailstones suddenly the hailstone the storms came the all the rain drops changed into the at uh, the short short pearls like that the children are roaming here and there they are playing they collect the pearl stones of that where they are fallen there he shocked what's what happening here what's going on he felt sad at the time he has to run back to his house and say his wife see this year we didn't have anything after a few minutes all is filled covered with high stones it seems like a uh that a gathering of a souls with the as a full with the valley place a full with the sadness in his heart but his family members having such a hope with god his wife said it's all willing of god but that lencho having uh is uh, is murmuring in his heart what this year we going to do because nothing he had with all the corn plants he has totally destroyed and that not a leaf it's on the tree it's all fallen the high stones when the storm came the all they destroyed he has suffered a lot he thought a few minutes and he had some idea because he having a hope and to god he thought to write a letter to whom is storing a right letter to god god this year we have been a poverty we didn't have anything all our corn plants we destroyed nothing to have i need 100 pesos what does it mean peso what does it mean peso the coin that is a value of thing of american places american side they uses the pesos why he need 100 pesos it's a pot for the sowing of next year and the managing and the in between the year he having to have feed is himself and their family members that's why he writing on the old uh, uh, what he need the things he has written on his paper and he has fixed the stamp from the post office he has put it in another mailbox at the time the postman the collecting the all letters in the post office and yes uh, and yes uh, uh, referring what are the addresses here mean suddenly he shocked what he is saying that 
is showing the address to God, is total off. He show the letter to us ahead, the colleague to the post office. He also saw that and shocked. Uh, who is the man? Whether he may mad, he is writing a letter to God. But suddenly, stop your laughing and think about it. What the hope the man having done? Such a hope he had. Uh, what is the thought he has? They opened the letter and they saw that. What are the things they have mentioned in it? They saw he needs 100 pesos because his corn field is totally destroyed from the hailstones. They are preparing themselves to help him. That's why they are preparing some money. To gather some money, there are some people who are working in the post office. That headman is sharing the part of his salary to him and they make himself and uh, the postman also writing a letter to man. It's not himself as God he are giving a reply to him. Yes, meeting that. But that head of a post office is uh, uh, it's not impossible to gather the hundred pesos. But as a more than the half he has prepared. Yes, nearly 70 percentage he has uh, gathered amount. But impossible, it's you're collecting the full. He has made the letter and he has preparing that. At the next following week of a Sunday, the postman has moved to this house. The lunch asked him, Is there any letter for me? The postman given that. He shocked, the lunch shocked. The Lord replied me, The Lord replied my needs. He has opened what he has, postman he has given. He has really exclaimed and the thanks given to God. But one thing, suddenly he got anger. Why he got anger? He has counting the money. How much he has given? Only 70. Immediately, he has a white sheet. From this, they write the letter against to God. See, it is a very, 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 it's a comic uh, situation. The man who helps to someone, but he is not sufficient. It's not enough in him. But unknowingly, see that such a hope he is having unto God. Immediately, he start to write a letter to God. God, you are not your mistaken. Forever you are not your mistaken. I ask you 100 pesos, but you are given only 70. I need the rest of the pesos. He has written. And yes, again, he has posted, he has stamped on a fix on his uh, front of a letter, and he again he written, and he has posted in a mailbox. But the quotation, the main thing he has mentioned in the letter, Lord, he should not send the money through the post office, because the postman's, the post employees, they are crooked. The lecture said. See the situation it is, how it's laughable, how it's comically incidents which happen in the life of a postman. The man who uh, ready to help to someone, but the man who needs, he say the people, they were helping, they were the crooked. He had a hope unto God, but he is not a believer man who was being in this world. The same thing happened in our life also. Okay, anyway, it is a short summary about this lesson. Now we are going to see the line by line about the lesson. Dear students, let us move to the lesson. A letter to God are written by G. L. Fontes. Now see about the author. Gregorio Lapsi Y. Fontes was a Mexican novelist, poet and journalist. He was one of the leading chroniclers of the Mexican Revolution. He was one of the greatest writers of his time. He got his work published in many famous articles. The house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the crust of a low hill, crust mean top of a hill. 
From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest. The only thing the youth needed was a downpour or at least a shower. In this passage, we see the house of Lancho. That means this house take place in the top of a hill. In his, uh, the height on his uh, house, we may see that the river and the field of ripe corn totters. It's filled with flowers. It's uh, ready to good harvest also. Yes, wait, the earth as needed was downpour or a shower. That means he expecting the rain. It's from the heaven. It's from the uh, clouds. He expecting the rain at the time. Throughout the morning, Lencho, who knew his field intimately, had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Now we are really going to get a somewhat woman. Woman he is describing about his wife. The woman who was as preparing supper replied, Yes, God willing. The older boys were working in the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called to them all, Come for dinner. In this passage, Lencho, seeing his field, but some of them they are working there. The old boys they are working in the field. The smaller ones they are playing near the house until the women call them all for the dinner. That means they are preparing. His wife are preparing supper for them. But Lencho expecting rain from that. The older one that means the is uh, the older people they have been working in a field. You see the sky towards the northeast. That means you are seeing the place, you are expecting rain from the Asia, from the sky. You are really going to some water, women. He said to his wife, we are going to get some water. But his wife replied, yes, God willing. That means she accepted that. Yeah, the will of God, it's going to happen. They are going to have the rain. They are going to shower from the uh, sky. She said like that. It was during the meal that, just as Lencho had predicted, big drops of rain began to fall. In the northeast, a huge mountain of clouds could be seen approaching. The air was fresh and sweet. The man went out for no other reason then to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, These old raindrops falling from the sky, they are new coins. He exclaimed that these sort of things, a sort of the rain, it's coming when you are seeing the time of uh, uh, break day, and uh, during the meantime, you see the sky, the drops as began to show from the sky, the northeast a huge mountain of clouds has covered the mountain is approaching the rain the air was fresh he feel that he feel the air it's feeling the breeze here it's being breeze here means it gives a pleasure in his uh, in his body he feel as a uh, rainy that's the way he returned and exclaimed these are not the raindrops here the raindrops described as the coins, that mean, uh, he describing the new coins, the big drops are ten cents. See, his uh, uh, ex uh, 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 expectation, that mean, uh, the new coins, the uh, big coins are ten cent pieces, the small coins are five cent pieces. He evaluating the raindrop as a coins. The big drops are 10 cents, pieces and the little ones are fives. With a satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers. Drapped, drapped means it's covered with glass in a curtain of rain. But suddenly a storm wind began to blow and along with the rain, the very large hailstone began to fall. This 
truly did resemble new silver coins. In this passage, Adelincho described the big drops or 10 cent pieces, the small drops or the little ones or the 5 cents. With this satisfied and the expression, he has filled it's a corn floss, he is going to work, he is going to harvest, he has a good amount he is going to get, he is going to collect all the corns and so he has a good value. He has thought and he has been expression like that. But within a moment, the suddenly the storm wind began to blow along with the rain, a very large high storm. Suddenly, it totally resembled New Silver Coins. He confused what's happening, what's going on. Within a moment, the fraction of a second, the blinking of her eyes, suddenly the wind, the storm wind began to blow. It changed all the raindrops as became as hailstones. He suffered, he feel bad. The boys exposing themselves to the rain ran to collect the frozen pearls. It's really getting bad now, exclaimed the man. I hope it pauses quickly. It did not pause quickly. For now, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. Really, his expectation, his needs, his joyness, all turned into the sadness. The whole rains had turned into the hailstorms. Really, he getting bad. He exclaimed the man, I hope it passes quickly. Is all his hope destroyed for half an hour? Within an hour, the hail rained. It covered the house and the garden and the hillside and the cornfield. The whole valley filled with hailstones. The field was white as if covered with salt. Not a leaf remained on the trees, and the corn was totally destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plants. Lincho's soul was filled with sadness. When the storm had paused, he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons, A flock of locusts would have left more than this. Here is Ex, uh, he explained uh, his field, the is the locust, the bean, the insects which fly in big swarms. He destroyed sometimes uh, the plants and the water's leaves, it destroyed it, but it remained some things. But here, the field, uh, the filled with white, it's covered with salt. It seems like the whole valley covered with salt. And then no leaf remained on the tree. The wood, none of the tree, a single bit of a leaf, it's not remaining on the tree. But the corn totally destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plants. None of the flowers are there. It's are totally collapsed. The lentures soul filled with sadness. He suffered a lot because the high stones destroyed his field. What's his expectation or destroy? His emotion, his joyness, his gladness, his hope of God, all has been destroyed because the storm came and destroyed all the things. The hail has left nothing. This year we will have no corn. That night was a sorrowful one. All our work for nothing. There's no one who can help us. We'll all go hungry this year. But in the hordes of all who lived in that solitary house in the middle of the valley, there was a single hope, help from God. In this passage, the Lencho, he had suffered a lot, but he had some hope unto God. 
के हैविंग ओनली वन होप बिकॉज ऑल हिज हॉन एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड इज से दैट नाइट वॉज अ सारफुल वन ऑल अब वर्क फॉर नथिंग दैट नो वन हु कैन हेल्प एस वी लॉल अ हंड्रेड इज ये is said to his family members see this in the situation what we will do if anything we will destroy it. if you're framing some very 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 huge things we are preparing ourselves but within a moment if anybody destroyed that what we will do we are start to scold we start to be get angry we start to be started to whatever we 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 we, we, we did in know at the time what we will do but he says with sorrowness at the night he can't sleep he feels suffered with sorrow is all effort is all work is all his burden a change into nothing there is no one to help him well all go to hunger the whole family they ask move to hungry because there is no earning all the earning is changed into destroyed and nothing will happen if your con is sold only they will got the money without the money they will not eat anything we are not buy anything the total family at smooth hungry that is only he described in a solitary house as it's placed in the middle of the valley the was a single hope he had that is it's help from god god only help him god only help him otherwise as the none of person he has come and help him because as no one to support him he has only be alone he stayed in a solitary place don't be so upset even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger that's what is say no one dies of hunger all through the night lancho thought only of his one hope and the help of god whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything even what is deep in one's conscience here suffered no one to help the whole family totally be upset but they having the hope only one thing they are hope unto god god only has helped them others and nobody has helped them that is the constant he has taught is very stubborn person but he is feel the total destroyed that's why he feel is sad he can't do anything without the god no one help him such a hope they had but he had the end of hope he having that alencho was an ox of a man working like an animal in the field but still he knew how to write the following sunday at the daybreak he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail it was nothing less than a letter to god god he wrote if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year he written he started in this passage he started right letter to god he is being like a ox ox the man the lencho refers the compared to the ox ox is a very strong animal like animal he was worked and a feed is described like that is so he knew to write the following sunday he start to write at the time of daybreak he start to write letter to god what he written that is god if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry like a man who says his friend at the same way he are having hope is talking with god like this he is describing god as his friend as his beloved as his very relevant as his well wisher like that he having such hope see his hope has been very amazing i need 100 pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes 
because they are high strong he wrote to god on the envelope put the letter inside and still troubled went to town at the post office he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox one of employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss as laughing heartily and showed him a letter to god see everyone may laugh at him because he are behaving as mad we think like that but his hope is god will help him that is the only hope he had he said he asked unto god he written in his letter that is lord i need 100 pesos the pesos means the currency of several latin american countries is that why he has mentioned that he needs 100 pesos because he see the reason also he written a letter how much he need he says for what i am going to spend this money that is i am going to sow the next reap after the next reap likewise i to live until the crop comes because why he asking like that he say the reason because of the hell storm he say he blame he also blame unto god hell storm only has destroyed all the things that's why i need such amount likewise he asking unto god he wrote to god and the envelope the address he written on the address that is to god put the letter inside the still a trouble and he has went to town when the letter been opened by the postman when he saw the address it not at all a c yes before his service it is not c is like that the no one man is stamped on the name as to god he has feel he has very laughed at them and he has went to his boss and laughing heartily he showed him a letter to god and never in his career as postman had he known that address the postmaster a fat amiable fellow also broke out laughing but almost immediately he turned seriously and tapping the letter on his desk commented what faith i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter as starting up the correspondence with god see first day is total laugh about his letter who return a letter to god that time you see that he is laughing each other and said in my service i am not see like this in my career i am not see like this but he see it also he is tapped on the desk and said immediately what faith the man have in that faith and god i wish i had the faith of a man who wrote this letter they start correspondence so that mean they are preparing themselves to help the man who needs the help from god they are preparing that so in order not to shake the writer's faith in god the postmaster came up with an idea and showed the letter but when he opened it it was evident that to answer it he needed something more than good will ink and paper but he stuck to his resolution he asked for money from his employees he himself gave part of his salary and the several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity in this passage they are ready to help the man who are been in needs that is alencho they are preparing they are ready to give they are going to give a solution of his problem you see the man the head of a man he is asking his employees they are going to give something to a man who are in needs he has given the part of a salary he has several friends of him they are ready to give they are preparing the money and they are preparing the box they thought at all he threw that the postman that threw the god likewise it was impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos so he was able to send the farmer one day a little more than half 
he put the money in an envelope addressed to Lencho and with an letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. The following Sunday, Lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for me. That is, they prepared all the things, but there is something at the impossible they gathered together for their uh, maintaining the hundred pesos because uh, they only they only prepared the seventy percentage of money they prepare and send it to the farmer uh, through that letter that is a money order that's envelope method at the uh, envelope they addressed uh, as a god with a signature likewise god the postman is not ready to write his name is not show himself because he giving a response to his hope the lencho having such hope that way the postman giving the response to the hope uh, no one have a faith unto god no one have hope unto god uh, the old man only believe the person who has been expecting to help him but here the postman uh, give the response to the person the former that's why he prepared and they make a signature as god and they send it to the money to him it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked on from his office. Lencher showed not a slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. But he became angry when he counted the money. Because why he has angry? Because the postman has prepared and packed money and he has given to a man who has been expecting help from God. He has been experiencing the man who has performed a good deed, looked on his office and he said a slight surprise. Yes, Lord, I give him the money. Lord, uh, listen my prayer. Lord, uh, listen unto me. He have been exclaimed and uh, be joy unto himself. And when he opened the money, he shocked. He, he got an angry. He became angry when he counted the money because it may lesser amount that. God could not have made mistake, nor could he have uh, denied a lynch of what he had requested. Immediately, Lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink on the public writing table. He started to write with much wrinkling of his brow, cast by the effort he had to make to express his ideas. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed to an envelope with the blow of his fist. Immediately he showed, became his anger, and he moved and he has one white paper against write a letter to God. God, I need the rest of amount. You are only given the 70 percentage of my amount. I ask you 100 pesos, but you send me only 70 pesos. What about the rest of amount? He asking again a question unto God. He didn't know where the helps come from, who helps him, who uh, he had prepared the money for him. He didn't know anything. But he has madly, he again he has taught right letter unto God. He again asked unto God, God, why you give only the 70 pesos only? What I am going to do the rest of amount? Send me again. He asked unto God like that. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox. The postmaster went to open it. It said, God, of the money that I asked for, only 70 pesos reached me. Send me the rest, since I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail, because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks, said Belincho. See here, it is a very the comical moment he acquired in the post office because he has told the letter to God again. He says in a letter when uh, when he put into the mailbox, the postman opened the letter and said and see that um, he explained also 
uh, he written in it god of the money that they asked for only a 70 pesos you reach me send me the rest of amount he asked again into god the apostle exclaimed the main point in they are mingled in it he has noticed that he is saying unto god say that lord you don't send it me through the mail see the very comical statement he has given why is it like that means the rest of amount is stolen by the postman then stolen by the employees see how the comical situation have the man who helped him the lencho changed the man who helped him as a fool as the crook as a man who have been as the stolen one see nowadays we are doing like that the who helps us we are changed them as our enemy likewise god helping more to us but we not believe unto god we not uh, pray unto god we are not thankful unto god we are only shows ourselves unto god as a enemy let us see the important questions of the lesson there are many questions out there among that yeah, we are going to see the three of the questions is very important first why did lencho say the rain drops were like new coins answer lencho's crops were ready for harvest as raindrops would have helped in getting a better harvest resulting in more property so lencho compared them with new coins the second question is why does the postmaster send money to the lencho why does he sign the letter god answer postmaster was moved by lencho's complete faith in the god so he decided to send money to lencho moreover the postmaster did not want to shake a lencho straight in god so he signed that letter god it was a good ploy to convey a message that god had himself written a letter the third question is did lencho try to find out who had sent the money to him why why not answer is no lencho does not try to find out who had sent the money to him this is because he had great faith in god and never suspected that someone else other than god would send him the money his faith in god was so strong that he believed that god had sent him the money see students what we learned from this lesson we should be thankful unto god whatever the help we need we should ask unto god god would arise the man some other people to help us the lord is not come directly come and to help you may written god god i need the easy exam question papers like this god is not come directly see this is the easy question paper for what you need lord did not help like that the through the way to the man or your friend or the some other people or the students the lord arise such a people to help you but make sure that we should not make a people as our enemy or else we should not make a such a people to be at the mad like twice we should be thankful unto god forever thank you so much